smoothly so far. You can see the bridge moving fairly quickly here, and that's what we had in mind. And uh, we're pretty excited about being here today. Uh, it's the first time we've done it in Minnesota, and we hopefully will use this uh, in additional locations in the future. So. Well, there's a lot of benefits, you know, uh, we limit the closure time for the, the traveling public. We cut that in half on this project. It's also safer to build these bridges off-site, and I think it improves the quality of the bridge, uh, building it off-site and then moving it into place. Well, it's very helpful to the neighborhood because we need to maintain the connections on both sides of the freeway. So to have the bridge down a month or more or less uh, is really helpful to keep the neighborhoods connected in St. Paul. And so this is really helpful for us. It's one first step towards completion, joining the neighborhoods back together, and hopefully getting all of the amenities. We have lift on. first started here. There, there's some really big beams out there, some great big thick beams they put it out here. Well, the, 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 the thing that I think about it the, the most is that it's really saving a lot of traffic if they were had to shut down 35. Because I watch every day how, how crowded 35 is, and if they would have to shut this 35 down, I don't know what would happen. They would have had to, I don't know how they would have bypassed.